What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning the WBA. The World Boxing Association is considering the creation of a new weight class. The WBA Boxing Association Executive Committee has voted in favor of creating a new weight class called the Super Cruiser Weight, as reported by Boxing Scene. The association decided to establish a division between cruiserweight and heavyweight. Cruiserweight's up to 90.7 kilos and a heavyweight is 90.7 and above. The WBA was involved in the idea of creating a weight category between them, which would include fighters weighing in from 91.2 kilograms to 101.6 kilograms. And the creation of a new weight class will mainly help avoid fights where fighters enter the ring with a significant weight difference, which sometimes happens in heavyweights, where the difference can be nine kilograms or more, explained by the WBA. Of course, we know the WBC created Bridger weight back in 2020, and it was approached with much criticism, rightfully. Okay, and they have decided to make their own. So basically, the WBA and the WBC are in conjunction and in agreement of making a new division. Human sacrifice, dogs and cats living together, mass hysteria. Now the question is, are they the same weight class? Will the WBA and the WBC come to this um, agreement of just calling it, hey, super cruiserweight, bridgerweight division? You know what I'm saying? Because it's th that's the same weight class. You know, um, my take on it, I think the WBA is just becoming like the WBC. And the WBA is pretty much the second corrupt, uh, most corrupt um, sanctioned in body we have. The WBO, you really don't hear about the IBF are just too damn stern or strict, right? But the WBA making this, I think what they did, they reviewed what, the WBC attempted to do or they're trying to do because it's really not that successful there. I think they're trying to, you know, make more revenue for their sanction and body. And how do you do that? You create new belts, you create, you know, new revenue streams with these guys being champions and not only the guys being champions, but the rank guys as well, that they pay 3% to these particular sanction and body. So if you had a whole new weight class, you have more opportunities to make more money. I don't think the idea of, oh, well, you got these guys with less significance. No, it's a way for you guys to make more money. You guys don't care about the fighters or how big one is compared to the other, especially with their heavyweight. Now you're saying, oh, well, they just have to make weight and they think that's cool if they were once at heavyweight. So you have guys like Deontay Wilder, which is about 220 pounds. He could easily go down there. He was talking about going to cruiserweight in the first place. And between lightweight and heavy, light heavyweight and heavyweight, you had cruiserweight. I think that's how it should be. There wasn't a such thing as cruiserweight back in the day. But like guys like Rocky Marciano, uh, 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 Archie Moore, those guys like that would have been cruiserweights. OK, um, I don't like the idea of it. I think we have too many divisions as it is. I think it's just more opportunity for me, people to fight and to claim themselves champion is in a weight class is not really popular. You know, I think this is going to be a while if it takes off, you know, but I do. And I feel that it's the purpose of making more money. I don't think they're there to help the fighters or help even out a particular fight or not. No, because a smaller heavyweight has their own attributes. They have their own skill sets. They have their own confidence. They have their own uh, um, uh, tools that they bring to the table of a fight with anybody. So there you go. I don't. I don't believe in any of this stuff. Um, you guys, tell me what you think of the WBA joining the WBC on making a new weight division, the Super Cruiserweight division. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys, been counterpunch. Hey.